Welcome to Around the Reel with your hosts, Aaron Carlson, Charles Lawson, and Samantha Hanna. Quiet as we're doing checks, so it's, kind of, it's hard to check his levels when he's not talking. To oh, me. apologies. Uh, uh, you don't mind me drinking beer, right? Oh, please do. All. No, I'm I'm drinking bourbon. Yeah, so I'm drinking vodka, drink I'm, and yeah. I'm drinking coffee because I'm not a fucking lush. Jesus, oh. <laughs> it's late. There. I am. I love being a lush. <laughs> no, <laughs> so do I. I That's love what being I'm a lush too. See, Wait, Chuck, this is all we're You know what? Talking about. You should join the party. Of, but he's drinking out of a bottle. It'd be better if it was a pint. You know, it's, it's fine. Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you what. My brother's here. I'll just ask him to get me a whiskey. How about, how about that? That it's, works. You, yeah. Okay. You, fit, uh, you fit right in that way. Yeah. Alex, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Dude, he's even got somebody getting him the Alex, liquor. I want to know, know if it can, is, if Alex can hear me or if you can relay for me. I would like to know what Alex, being your brother, feels like being the bitch. <laughs> I think it, he's the drink. He's the drink. Um, Clearly, he's your younger I'm brother, older, and he's my youngest, uh, my my younger brother. So he, he's used to being the bitch, um, <laughs> and he was also a producer on my film. So oh, he's a rich bitch. Oh he, yeah, he is actually in the credits on that one. That's awesome. Well, um, oh wait, he's a producer, not executive producer. My bad. No, but he's a he's no, a no, no. So he's not an executive producer. Do you, do you want to say hello, bro? Yeah, yeah. Stick your face in here, really but don't lick your brother. Yeah, don't do anything weird. Bye, bye. Oh, there's my there mom. he is. How's it going, hey. brother? Hey, hey, hey man. Oh Very my nice. gosh, you Very guys nice. look alike. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Uh, oh, what you hey. Don't give him the bottle. Give him a drink. Oh my god. Let gonna, the this is going to be the most ex- family resemblance. I, I finished his bottle last last week. You see, <laughs> this is yeah. He, he drank mine back in London. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. So. You, hear, you hear that, Aaron? What? When they finish off their bottles, yeah. they buy a replacement. No, that's a good. I do too that at yeah, home. I, I just do don't do it for your house. <laughs> I just don't do that here. Yeah, okay. we do it. Aaron's pouring his glasses. Really like, Are you weird. sure? So yeah. that's what you got. Well, he he okay. usually supplies the liquor at the show. We're, we drive over here. Yes, mm-hmm. right. I, I provide the entertainment and the alcohol. I mean, the alcohol yeah, the, for the, the to create entertainment. But Speaking this, of driving over here, it was not an easy one today. No, it wasn't. We had no. a we had a jumper on bridge the jumper bridge oh. that we had to. Oh, that's yeah. horrible. So yeah. traffic was really backed up. Yep, yeah, it was. Yeah. There's a couple things the, I want to talk about real quick, though, with the UK stuff. Yeah. Okay. Because I like the guys from the UK. They're badass. Oh, because, we love them. Yeah. Because you... you that's, very, they, that's very kind. That's no, well, awesome. We love your accent. You, you, you talk so cute. Yeah. You, you guys <laughs> talk and sound so my, badass. My, my New York friends say that. <laughs> yeah. It sounds fucking cool, man. But you guys can drink and you have no shame in your game. So, Chuck... Yeah, why are you shame fucking in our cool, game? man? Why quit putting shame? Look how cool in our they are. Game. Look at my okay. man; is just getting down. You okay. can still drink and not be all fucked up. Yes, you can drink I've and not be all fucked all up. Afternoon, <laughs> looking after my niece with my brother. You do realize it's not <laughs> yeah. Friday anymore, right? We're actually into Saturday evening for you. Oh, well, goodness. it's like nine o'clock. Wait, it's no, it's like what seven o'clock. Is. It, yeah, yeah, it's seven thirty-five. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's for, a perfect thing. Thanks, drink. thanks for the update all right, um, for all of you not paying we're, attention. We're just you know, drinking at eleven, life. eleven in the morning. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just it's like fine. you know, well, eggs, I mean, eggs and whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, and another thing it's too, like drinking is it's the way forward, right? Absolutely, that's right? Absolutely, that's right? It balances your shit out. It's the flavor. Yeah, it's the flavor. <laughs> of life. <laughs> Nobody drinks whiskey or coffee for the fucking flavor. I do. I do. It's for the effect. Oh, I, do. I know. Hey, I like the effect. Whiskey and coffee. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I like the burn. I don't I don't want to get Wait, fucked forward. up. Yeah, it's good. Um yeah, it was a trip getting over here, Sam. Yeah. It yeah was. I don't like Joe. Do they have people that jump off stuff over in the UK? No, people don't kill themselves in they don't, okay. you know why? No, they're so happy. They because they're happy people. <laughs> and they're drunk. Yes, they don't fucking do that stupid shit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Tony, go ahead and answer this question. I'm sorry, buddy. No, no I'm just saying they do, you know. It's weird. Whether through, you know, uh, intent or stupidity. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's such a, I'm sorry, but it's such a pussy move. It's so pussy <laughs> to me. And, you know, what we were talking about in the car over here, it's interesting because it, 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 in a way, it's it's so pussy if you think about it in one aspect. But the determination it takes to kill yourself is extraordinary. And the to balls. Go, yes, to go through with balls. it. So if you can actually do that, are you telling me you don't have the, the willpower to do something else in your life? You know, most people can't kill themselves. They're, they can't. They can't do that, right? It's like people trying to make movies. We we You know, not everybody can make them. So if if you can do that, you're something special. So if you can actually, you're something special. If you can actually attempt and do <laughs> yeah, killing so yourself, 
you are a badass. You could flip that and do anything positive. You understand what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but obviously that's not the mind frame. I know, and it's sad with. because they can do it. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's building up the determine dealing with have, having a family member who suffers from massive depression and thoughts of suicide. It's that's one of the things I could say is that it's so that determination that they get to do that. Yeah, only has to last until the feat is done. Waking up every morning is so hard that they just can't get through the day. But it's well, yeah. no matter how much determination they come up with, it's still deflating. It's still deflating. They still feel defeated. They can't fix it. Right. They build up that determination so much just to go do that. And unfortunately, I believe that jumping off of anything is a horrible idea because then what if halfway down, it takes, it takes about 20 seconds to hit the freaking water. Oh, right. Yeah. So halfway down, you're like, oh, oh damn. It's too late. I'd have been all right. <laughs> you know, but there's little things in life that stop me from ever thinking about killing myself. And it's little things. Right. Just like it's little things that make me want to say, I want to kill myself today. You'll you know, it's, it's never something serious is what I'm saying. Right. You know what I mean? It's like if I stub my toe, I feel like, fuck, I'm going to kill myself. Fuck it. You know, oh it's, God, it's, it's never like a tragic <laughs> event that makes me feel like I want to kill myself. I, I destroy the table or the, whatever I kicked when I stub my toe. I don't think I'm going to do more damage to myself. Okay, put it this way. If I'm invited to an event I don't want to go to and I go, I'd rather shoot myself in the face than go there. That's different. <laughs> that's that's, you know, different. That, that's those little moments. That's, that's just the only you, time I say it. That's just you hanging out with Sam's family. I mean, you just don't want to go. <laughs> That was rude. You can make See, that face out all you want. Half the time, you don't even want to go. That's true. <laughs> it's true. Tony's like, why well, fucking thought we were going to talk what about my movie? What is going on here? Sorry. Like, well, what are we even talking about? about that. I mean, uh, the mental health crisis is a real thing. It is a real thing. Uh, you need to have sympathy for people like that. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I try. I try. I yeah. think too, I think about it so deeply, like, I just can't understand it, and I, I start thinking about, god damn. Well, I, I, I often think it's a good thing you don't understand it. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, yeah, you know, that's a very good point. the grace of God, kind yeah. of. That is true. And, I was, and this morning I was torn. When, when I found out there was a jumper on the bridge, the Christian side of me was like, oh my gosh, that's so horrible. There's got to be a better way of something to do with life. And the cynical side of me, when I found out they actually jumped. Yeah. I, I, I quoted, I told Aaron, I quoted the line from our movie, The Outrider. I was like, the motherfucker just flew the fuck away. Right. Right. <laughs> Except he didn't fly. He fell. He, <laughs> he fell, fell away. Yeah. Um, so. Okay. Well, welcome to oh, Around the Reel. Oh, welcome yeah, to well, Around the Reel. Yeah. Welcome to Around the Reel. Talking about <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I know. Wonderful things today. And we always do stuff like that. We've but got, we, uh, it's real. That's what we're no, really it, dealing it with. It is. It is. It and is that's real. what happened to us um, coming to the show today, Tony. So we're glad we made it on time. We were scared we were going to be late, but yes. we're here. So we're here. Bang on time. Yes, sir. All right. And it's only seven something there, so he's not completely shit faced. That's right. That's not yet anyway. Or I'm sorry. Excuse me, Tony. Schnickered. But borderline. borderline. <laughs> <laughs> we can work with that. All right. So, Tony Cook, filmmaker. How you doing, bro? Uh, very well, thank you. I'm very nice. Uh, it's very uh, nice Thank you for inviting me. It's uh, nice to meet you all. Yeah, you too, my friend. You too. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's going to be fun chatting with you for a bit here. We uh, we got to view your film, um, Can't Go Home Again, and it's um, it's a fun movie, man. Um very kind of you to say it's, thank you. it's fucking fun. I, I was happily surprised. And I remember talking with Ben about the film maybe a year ago or so. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's, it's taken a very long time yeah. to, to kind of shoot it and get it to, uh, to finish it. I mean, Ben Thatcher, who's like uh, the guy that did the music for it, uh, for it. Great guy. Immense talent. Uh, I think um, he did a, a fantastic score for my film and even though uh believe it or not we're from the same city uh even though um i live in london now we're both from uh, lincoln city in um in oh, lincolnshire yeah. and um yeah. in the uk uh we've never met <laughs> oh wow <laughs> well, wait, okay. wait wait wait, wait. Okay. okay so just... for, for all of us yanks who had who know nothing how big of a city would that be uh, Lincoln City's probably about um, seventy to eighty thousand, okay. um, but it, uh, I mean Lincolnshire, the county's the the second biggest county in the UK. So, okay. Okay. I mean, it's ma- like, it, but it's all like farming community and like no one ever goes there. Oh. <laughs> so you guys <laughs> really like pigs and sheep? Okay. Cathedral. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Alex. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I'm just ordering another drink. Yeah, you oh, might as well get another one. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have so left the bottle. Have, yeah. You're so lucky to have a bartender. I know. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> we have a bartender, too. but Well, yeah, but I don't only, work. She only gets up if she has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work. I'm not on the job right now. Um, 
Yeah, I, I've, I've, I've... How do you guys know Ben, just out of curiosity? Because I, oh, I mean, gosh. Ben... Just, uh, Facebook stalking. Well, well I, yeah. Oh, Aaron, that's Aaron. It's Aaron's story. I, I live on the internet. You know that World Wide Web? That WWW thing? He literally... Oh, yeah, yeah. I live there, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, literally. It's, it's been my job um, when we started our production company here to be the person that it networks and tries to get not only uh, the projects we're working on out there, but to, you know, help, you know, find other creative people that we could, we could join with and to, to work with maybe one day on a project. That was, that was our goal in the beginning. Um, I ran into Ben on, actually, I first ran into Ben on YouTube because I was just uh, scrolling through epic scores on YouTube. You know, you could put that in and something to get me excited about writing. Well, yeah, or, or vacuuming, you know. <laughs> So, no, if I'm doing fucking housework, I, I, I used to like to listen to, you know, scores a lot. And I just blast it whenever I was doing stuff. And I ran across Ben Thatcher's page one day on YouTube. And I didn't know the guy, but I just listened to his music all the time. And I'm like, God, this guy's fucking got cool shit. You know, he's really good. And Sam used to listen to it, too. And she was like, oh, this guy's dope. Um, but I never knew who Ben really was. And then one day we, we kind of started chatting on Twitter. And from there, we just grew this friendship. And, and now we're actually working with Ben, too. So that's kind of how it went. Yeah. So that's it's great. because of me we meet great people is what I'm saying. Uh, actually, no. But... <laughs> um, we met Tony because actually of Ben. Because of Ben. Right. Yeah. yeah. But because I initially met Ben is why we met Tony. So you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Sam. And Chuck. And Tony. And Tony. Yeah. Tony. Don't you? Sorry, Tony. You're feeling the love right now. <laughs> I feeling... got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> anyway, your movie, man. We're talking about Aaron's favorite subject. Me? Aaron. Me? No, I, yeah, I like talking about other people. That is Aaron's favorite. No, I don't have to tell people about it. They already know. They already know how badass I am. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so anyway, Tony. Dude, Aaron, your shirt is so bright, it's like putting a glow throughout the whole room. It could be the lighting. Oh, it could be. Yeah. Anyway. Can we talk about his movie? I would love all? to, but you can't stop talking about. <laughs> I you. know. Let's. He asked me shut, a question, and I answered. If we shut off your mic, the we might be able to. For fuck's sake! If we clip your mic, we may be able to get into some other things. Tony, this is our podcast. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I hope you live. I'm already enjoying it. <laughs> I hope Are you I'm, thoroughly entertained? <laughs> I, Absolutely. I truly <laughs> hope you've listened to an, in the background as well. <laughs> I hope you listened to an episode or two before you came on today. Some people get on here and they're just like... I, I, I had a quick YouTube, yeah. Okay, okay good. good. Okay. So you know what you got yourself into. That's always good to know. Yeah, because then... I always get about. myself into trouble. He just like... <laughs> and, and here's exactly... <laughs> is Tony is thinking the same thing that every guy thinks. Well, I looked at the podcast. I looked on the YouTube channel. So at least I know if I get bored, I can just stare at Sam the whole time. Yeah, Shut you can do that. Yeah. Up, yeah. Stop. Why I do mean, you have to embarrass me? Person, guys. And, and, and Tony... <laughs> I would like to make sure you keep all hands above the table during the podcast, please. Oh, my God. Did you really go there? (laughs) What is wrong with you? You Y'all said I don't talk enough. Are you happy now? I'm talking more No, don't talk anymore. (laughs) Are you referring to wanking? Is that what you're you're trying to say right now? I thought it was called Uh, Spotifying. Very British uh, terminology. (laughs) Yeah, I learned that one. There's a lot of cool terms you guys say. Wait, wait. He's got got uh, another hiney with a whiskey back. He's a badass. He yeah. doesn't fucking drink him. He's just not playing. Okay, let's when, talk about his movie. Yes. Yeah, let's talk okay. about it. All right. Um, so again, I absolutely enjoyed watching it. We all did. It, it's a it's a fun little sci-fi jump. So my first right. question is, is there a feature following this? Is this like a proof of concept to you? Um, yeah, I guess. Um, I, I kind of felt it was, um, rather than a feature, it was a proof of a uh, TV show. So there was... Um, I mean, I've just turned 43. I know my youthful good looks may dispute that. No, yeah, yeah. you're hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little deceiving. <laughs> um, um, there was a, a TV show that I grew up with that was called Quantum Leap, oh. uh, which was a massive fan of. And yep. I just, um, I guess one day, you know, in my head, the um, a slightly darker, you know, um, female driven um main character quantumly popped into my head and that's kind of where i went through um with um can't go home again so i guess it would you could argue is a proof of concept for a um you know uh, television show 
Okay. Uh, or oh, okay. Continue the television show rather than yeah. uh, the feature film. And funny enough, I was speaking to Ben last night about, um, you know, maybe doing a, uh, a, 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 a mini sequel to it. Okay. So, um, and um, yeah, he got me really thinking, actually. <laughs> so he does that. Well, yeah, the, the concept, you're on to something with it. I mean, it's uh, not giving anything away because I know it's not been released yet out there but um it it's got a really cool sci-fi storyline vibe to it you know it's um it's engaging and it's and one thing that's really fun about the way you did the sci-fi and it's something that's been lingering in my brain from the last screenplay i wrote was how how you can make a sci-fi film or tell a story without it being like star wars you know it doesn't have to be that big i mean you literally added a few things here or there and the storyline itself and then all of a sudden it's sci-fi you know what I mean? So it's a clever way of pulling off a sci-fi without having a budget. And I loved it. <laughs> that's, that, again, that's very kind of you to say. Sure, that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, well, you know, being a child of the eighties, I'm, um, uh, like Star Wars is my favorite film. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, I guess with the, like, can't go home again. I just drew on some, um, well, you know, like one of my favorite television shows, Quantum Leap, and <laughs> um, some personal experiences. And um, I felt like domestic violence hadn't kind of been addressed mm-hmm. massively in uh, in a kind of a, a sci-fi setting. So I, I kind of met, like I'd, I'd made a, a short, um, I guess, John Carpenter influenced uh, B movie. Um, for a, a science fiction festival in London in 2016 with my brother and some people that I work with at the BBC mm-hmm. uh, in London and um, it kind of naturally followed on from that almost so I used the same actress who's the main character in Can't Go Home Again and um, a lot of the um, like behind the scenes people so like camera people and sound people and and yeah i just kind of wrote something very quickly um i mean it took me five years to make so i was able to tweak it along the way did Um, you do your own editing uh the the camera person did it so um i mean it it, it took me so long for a number of personal reasons um, i get it which i'm i'm happy to briefly go through um if which you want, would include, if you want. Um, well, uh, I mean, I wrote it when I was in a abus- an abusive relationship with a, an ex-girlfriend, um, and then I um, unfortunately um, had cancer, and then oh. diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, and like I've had yeah. a, a lot of kind of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bad, bad things happen to me in a very short crazy. period of time. I mean, like, still here, touch wood. Um, still going um, but I never gave up on it and um, I, 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 hopefully people would say that um, you know if they if they met me that it was like you know uh, hard work and determination can go a long way mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah it can absolutely wow see what I mean yeah well, here. Still here. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah still here yeah you are still, and you finished still. yeah you, you finished, fucking finished. It. Uh, yeah 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 I so mean it's, cool. it's one thing Won, won 30 awards and in um, 70 international film festivals so I, yeah. uh, and um, it's um, it's still got I guess another 8 8, eight to 9 months running in um, uh, uh, that I've submitted for future film festivals okay, so. okay. alright is that what you're going to do with it? Is just film the film festivals? I say just, but I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I I always toy. So yeah, I'm uh, my like my my full time job is um, I direct. Uh, I'm a, a, a television director for BBC News. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, well, BBC World <laughs> News. So it, it it's shown in the US and it's you know shown around the world. We've watched it before. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. So there's um, uh, there's always part of me that wants to send it to the director general in the BBC who like oversees the whole BBC across the world and say, well, you know, it's 
Like, won some awards, yeah. maybe you should look at it. <laughs> yeah, here's, a, here's a little pitch pilot for you. You might want to think, think about doing a fucking yeah, you show, should. you know what I mean? I think you should. It's got a great message, and yeah. it's not like, you know, it's some long thing. I mean, just well, I, was pissed, I think yeah. you can get them to do it. Absolutely. It's a I was great pissed. message. It is, and I was pissed when it was ending. Yeah. When it, it, the way it ended, I'm like, oh, motherfucking cook. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to end it like this, bro. Why do you feel like that? Because... Mo- mo- like virtually everyone I've spoken to says, I want to know what happens next. That's what I'm and saying. That's, and that's how you want to leave that's it. that's exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, fuck that. Okay, Make this movie, man. Make well, a series. Do something. Shit. So here's <laughs> here's another good critique for you, my friend. Sam, what did you think of his short? I loved it. Okay. I love the message. Now, yeah. let me ask you this, Sam. What's your least favorite genre ever? Sci-fi. <laughs> right? so, oh, really? Yes, okay. it is. And she loved it. So. I did love it. Okay, so Sam, Sam why, why did it appeal? Why, why did you like it? Though? Well, because clever. Just mm-hmm. that it was clever and brilliant. And I loved the message. Yeah. It, like a very, 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 what? how should I put it? Um, a huge message in a short period of time to me is not easy to do. And I think that, so I have much respect. For yeah. that being able to be done, I think you had a huge message there, with in a short time, and you did it very creatively and very clever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's what yeah, I would. Thank say. You. Yeah, you know what I liked about it the most? See, I, I I don't want to just talk about his movie because no one's seen it yet, and that's what sucks. So I got to be very vague. Yes, but badass revenge story. <laughs> it is. I it fucking is. love it. Yes, I mean I, I I couldn't argue with that in any way. Yes, um, as I said, it, it it's based on. Some personal experiences. I, be, I could see uh, that now. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I would, I would argue, Elliot is um, very written from my point of view in regards to my stepfather. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, you know, just tweaked a few things. So it was great. Um, it just tell that um, act, tell that actor to be careful. He's gonna get typecast. Yeah, he's a well, fucking. And dick. what we wanted <laughs> to know, <laughs> like, dick. we were actually we were talking it. in the car on the way here, and we were like, "How did he find such an asshole?" Because yeah. everyone from the UK is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we said. <laughs> um, well, you know what, Ian, Ian, um, who, who played that role was um, he was the last person to be cast. And we found it really difficult to cast a person who didn't come across as, um, like cheesy or hammy, yeah. you know, like, you know, kind of, oh, I'm the bad guy. Yeah. I, I, I really wanted someone who you could think could be nice. Oh, I bought it. Yeah. Well, I actually L- bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. He yeah. was an asshole. Like, yeah. I. <laughs> but, he, but he had the look of a guy who could get away with it. Yeah, yeah. And that's it was, true. It, yeah. That's yeah. what was cool. And, and, yeah. and, and, and you know, I, I, I wanted this kind of, you know, kind of, oh, well, you know, he, perhaps he could be nice. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, yeah. he's got a little bit of a bad side. Um, and, you know, maybe I didn't succeed with that. But, no, you um, did good. I think you pulled it off. <laughs> and, yeah. You know, in, in in my experience, in regards to like domestic violence and things like that, it's um, often the people that you don't think are gonna uh, w- could be like that. Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Are exactly. like that. You know, they exactly. they hide it. They have this uh, mask or persona that you know hides it so well. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 I think you nailed it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, this, yep. and, he, and he and you said I, I totally forget. I totally sorry. I, I didn't get to watch end credits to see whoever whoever who was in it. So sure. you said his name was Ian. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ian. To be honest, I mean, like um, he um, like I was in contact with him for about a year after the film, and he, he's um, disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh, <laughs> um, well, I mean, I would really love to get back in contact. He's like everybody with him. Yeah. thinks I'm a fucking dick now. No, I mean he's a great actor. He's he's fucking brilliant. Um, he sold the, the he sold all of it, and because of because of him, their reactions are even better. Like you, you get that sense of fear for you, know, especially the little girl. So what's it, what's it like working with a a young actress? What, what was that? How that? Um, when we worked with uh, Sophia, who was uh, who played the the younger version of Elliot, mm-hmm. Ellie, um, we were uh, very aware that. Uh, you know, you know, like child safety and and, and things like sure. that. So, um, as I said most of the crew uh, work at the BBC in, in some form. So, like we um, we're kind of 
like working with minors or younger people were told to ha- always have that in the forefront of your mind to mm-hmm. like not overwork them and make sure that they're comfortable with the scenes and how you're going to interpret them. And I would argue, um, like the, the most important thing is always to have one of the parents on set, yeah, and and with them at, at every single point in the time because you to get the best performance out of someone, you want need to make them feel comfortable, yeah. Right. And also, you know, in any, you know, in the end, film, you know, film is a an artistic expression, and you. Um, but it's not life or death and you want to make sure that that, you know, the, the person that is contributing to your film is in a safe environment and, um, has, um, uh, the support mechanism there mm-hmm. that they, they, that they feel like that. So, that you know, uh, one of Sophia's parents were always on set and there, I mean, I, you know, I couldn't fault them in any way because they were absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah. um, um, and they were there every moment and very supportive of the film. Um, so we were very lucky. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't actually really that much of a problem. Well, that's <laughs> and, good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. That is we good to really hear. Lucky. We have upcoming. Um, we have upcoming movie with kid. Yeah. In it. Kids in it. And kids, we gotta, kids. yeah, we gotta yeah. do that. And it's not like we haven't worked with kids in the past because when we were learning to make films, we, we worked with, with, our, with kids. our kids all the yeah, time. It was just our so, kids, it was a little different. Yeah, because we could shut up, just keep going. Shut it's the fuck up, 18 hours. Working. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Let's go. We could do that with our kids. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm very intrigued about your film. So tell, me, tell me a bit about it. <laughs> well, oh, oh, my yeah, goodness. Well, we've done, we've done one feature uh, that we've released. It's called The Outrider. It's right here. That, that one's out. Oh, I noticed it, yeah. Yeah, that one is out now. We're working on two new ones. Um, a documentary by Sam, the giant Pacific octopus, right over her shoulder. That one. Um, she's gonna be like the new Maury Maher of oh, documentaries. No, you're a badass. No, these documentaries are great. And she's that last one that bended the music. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 He for did the our teaser. For that. Yes. Yeah, he did the teaser. Yes, and then we have a, a, a faith-based drama that Chuck has written that we'll be filming this summer. So we've got some projects going. Everything else we've ever done, we never released. We've been making yeah. movies for like twenty years, but we just kind of. And I mean, some of them it was our learning process. We didn't go to yeah. film school. That was how we how we got to where we're at now. Mm-hmm. And now we feel good enough to go. Yeah, we're not bad. We can do this. But we did them with our kids. Oh yeah, just yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They, but, they were the heroes. Yeah. Sometimes they were the villains. They yeah. were everything. <laughs> Yeah. But if you go back, it's fun because you can go back and watch our kids grow up. Yeah, it's beautiful to see them growing up yeah. in our films and stuff. So it's almost like we had a uh, like a visual uh, like picture book of them growing up. Kinda, but yeah. we just happened to make movies with them, which was cool. That was all him trying to teach himself um, things. Filmmaking yeah. in general, special mm-hmm. effects, new ways to light stuff, different camera angles, editing, all of it. I did on my own with Chuck's help and Sam. And now we're like... Yeah, we can make movies. We're badass now. <laughs> so that's our stuff. Well, but well, I was going to say. I mean, I think any any kind of um, filmmaking journey, no matter where it goes, is uh, um, uh, innately a, a you know personal experience. You, you you're putting a, a part of yourself out there in the end, right. you know, no matter exactly. what it is. And people might you know snort at that or laugh at that, but I, I you know I I actually. You know, genuinely believe it's true. You, yeah. You're it showing is. part of yourself. It is. Um, what's funny, like I was um, noticed one of the movies we made, and we didn't release it. We had a theater showing, but we didn't do anything with it. You're the talking movie. about the con. That, yes, the that con. That made me think of the con. Too. Yeah, absolutely. The crime Be- ballad. The cr- uh, yeah, the crime story I had wrote, and it took us seven years to make it. We we took a long break in the in the movie because um, of life shit, kind of like what happened to you. And then we finally said, come back, and we tried to finish this. And we did. We finished the movie. And it's a feature. It's long as fuck, but it's two hours and 87 minutes. It was our fucking fun movie. It was like, who gives a shit how long it is? And we're not doing anything with it. But anyway, we made this movie. And the the weird thing is, man, after I went back and actually watched it, when I stepped away from it all finally and just watched it, every character in the movie was a part of me. Every reaction they had, every emotion they had, whether the villain or hero or somebody else – I was like, holy shit, that's exactly me in that situation. Holy shit. She said that exactly like I would say. You know, those characters come to life. And you yeah. find out as a writer when you're writing shit, you 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 tend to write things 
from your perspective. It's weird, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's no crazy. secret, I think, that art is a reflection of the person that's Absolutely. creating it, yeah. which makes it so much cooler, it I is. think, because it's a great ex- way to express yourself. Yeah. So, I mean, like with his his story he wrote and um, and filmed, I mean, knowing that, you know, that's a reflection of his stepfather. Yeah. That's deep, or, bro. Yeah, just that's personal deep. experiences. I mean, is it, is <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's got to be healing to be able to... Yeah, I, I mean, I perhaps in the future I'll write some something about some someone I like. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Um, <laughs> <It'd> be, <laughs> it's a micro short. It's, it's not right at the time, you know. I mean, that, right. that's all you can do in the end, right? You know, it's, if it feels right, that that's kind of the way you go. I mean, well, yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like I, I write poetry, and I write. You know, when times are bad, I usually write way more. I mm-hmm. write way more. You just do because you you have a a need to kind of heal, you know, go through a process yeah. of healing, and sometimes express expression is a huge part of that. So I don't really write as much when things are happy because right. I'm good, I'm fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you know, when sh- shitty shit happens, shitty shit, then I want to write. <laughs> That's what Sam, are you saying you're are you saying you're fine right now? Why you fucked up? Well, I feel like this is a trick question, and Ironic I don't want to answer it. I know it's weird when he says stuff. Like I know that. he's going to dry in. Mm. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine if, right if a now, woman but... says she's fine, you oh. know she's lying because oh, she's fucked God's up, sakes. insecure, neurotic, and ero- and emotional. Oh, see, fine. That's an acronym he just yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Tony, if if you ever want to mess with your friends and they <laughs> and they happen to also be actors, what you do is you write them in their how they are in their life, and you put them in their story, and you make them be a PG version of it. That's because what he did. I That's did that to these did two. To me. <laughs> and they're both going to be in the movie, and they're both playing like very soft characters of what they really are like. Yeah, it's bullshit. He dumbed us down. I, I did. Dumb. You dumbed dumb us you down. Fuck <laughs> down. I polite you. I polited you down. Oh, you polited us I down. Po- oh, I polited <laughs> the shit out of that's, you. That's what we're gonna call this. I'm episode. gonna bend you over and polite you some more. <laughs> I like myself unpolited. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have a tendency. We have a tendency to say fuck a lot on this program and in real life. So yeah, that's not life, really yeah. an act at all. That's well, who to we, be fair. I, I find that's one of the best uh, expressions in life. Right? Thank you very much. Yes, which is why we're happy people. People that say fuck are happier people. They are. Period. But it's pretty bad when you're in the grocery store and someone says fuck and your kid thinks it was you. (laughs) (laughs) Just automatically assumes that that was you yelling fuck in the store. I I, I don't have kids, but I am a bad uncle. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, you know, three nieces and two nephews. I wouldn't say bad, though. No, you're I wouldn't. Uh, But what's funny is, yeah. Controversial, maybe. (laughs) Controversial, maybe. (laughs) Yeah, but he writes us a, a faith based film to be in, and we can't we can't cuss in a faith based mm-hmm. film. He gets a, he gets to say one thing that's really close to it. He gets to say, you mother, and that's it. That's cut, all I get to cut say. it off before he says the actual. Yeah, and yeah. I have to film this this summer, and it's like, how am I not going to cuss? You at can all? cuss all you want. You just can't, you know. I figure behind out. the scenes. Okay, I, I can act it out. I can and do it. I can now. do it. This it's going to be a challenge. This needless is to say, testing your acting prowess. You ain't kidding. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to see what you can bring as a thespian. I don't want to be a thespian. I just want to be a badass in a movie. Can I just be a badass in a movie? You, <laughs> don't worry, Aaron. You're not a thespian. You're an asshole. No, oh, so. I appreciate that, Sam. That's why I love you so much. <laughs> um, so let's talk about something else. Uh, special effects in your movie. Um, yeah. So did you have um, someone else help you with that? Are you a guru yeah, at After Effects? I, um, well, I, I try. I try. So um one of what certainly one of the things that I um I learned on this movie was you can't do everything. Um Yeah. And I'm sorry. I know. Well, I mean some people can. Yeah. But I could I couldn't uh, either. I try shit too and it's it's hard. But anyway, continue. You know, it's it, it, it's it's I I would argue it's a very particular skill. Mm-hmm. And I was very lucky to um well, I say very lucky. I had initially used some very bad luck, but that's the story of my life. Um, <laughs> Dude, yeah, I was, you, I was you, lucky uh, enough to have some uh, bad luck to he, be able to hook up with somebody who was better. <laughs> he fits right in with everybody. Here. I know. Um, I uh, initially had um, some people from India who um, were working on the film for the special effects, mm-hmm. and 
they uh, th- th- this is not a slight on uh, people from India at all. I work with them in the BBC. Oh, it's fine. Very if it work. sounds like it is, I will this say it. People. You don't have to say it. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> these, these people ripped me off. Of course they did. Oh, um, what do you know? Uh, I came across some uh, 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 couple of guys, uh, Turkish guys who are based in the UK called Baran and Oscar, and um, they 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 did the the VFX. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, to to a higher standard than I, I thought was possible for it, essentially a no budget short film that oh, yeah. um, you know I had to claw my way um, uh, tooth and nail into existence. Um, mm-hmm. So um, yeah, they, 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 I mean, I I would argue that you know though those guys and. And, and and Ben, you know, everyone works hard on the film. I would never dispute that, but their work certainly brought it to life more. I know. What um, I, I I feel because um, you can look at rushes of the film, and you know, you can like think the performance is great, but it's when you bring it all together and yeah. have a a whole whole thing so yeah o- um oscar and brand they i mean they they um they do vfx for commercials in um international um productions and stuff like that okay. so um yeah i was i was very lucky just to come across them i just put an advert out on um like london uh london film websites okay. you know oh. saying and they jumped need on board help, with you. Been making this film for three years. Desperate. I need some fucking help. <laughs> got got, got yeah. screwed over um, by some guys down south. Yeah. Well, um, they f- and go you ahead. Know, I mean, I I, li- I live down south now. I'm currently back in my my hometown, but um, um, yeah, they they said, oh yeah, we we think you can help you, and that you know they were. I think a very good thing of people that you work with is that um, they're very. Um, um, I'm trying to find the, the correct word for it. Um, they're very um, open mm-hmm. to suggest. You know, like, okay. well, can you can you do it like this? And I know what you're saying. As yeah. long as you have a good, I like. Um, <laughs> you know, I went to something. Uh, I went. I went to them with something I had a definitive idea in my head, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I think it's, I, I know what you mean. You know, as, as a di- film, filmmaking is a collaborative process. Yeah, yeah, but as a but as a director, Absolutely. as a director, and I know where you're going. It, when you when you have an idea of what you want or what you envision. And you're collaborating with others, whether they're the actors and or, you know, the special VFX guys or, or composers. It, it, it's weird when you have to go in and tell them like what you want, right? And what you see, because you know, they can do something you can't do, right? So you don't want to offend yeah, them. Yeah. yeah you don't do want to offend their creativity by telling them, this is what I fucking want. Because you can do it without them anyway. <laughs> that's the that's the weird part about being a director without having some of the skills that other people may have. You gotta, or a filmmaker in general, you gotta kind of, you know, be open, like you said, to yeah, be able to I, I, communicate and collaborate those things with them. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more because I, um, I mean, there were there were points during the, the production process I was like, I'm gonna have to do all of this myself mm-hmm. and carry it on my shoulders. And so, sometimes it absolutely felt like that. And I was like, well, I don't have the skill or the talent or the time mm-hmm. of doing it around my, my, my full-time job right? or the inclination to, to do it. I was like, I tried and I was like, I'm going to fail. <laughs> right. And it's going to take me a lot longer. So I was very lucky to, to, to find, you know, two special effects people that were, they were willing to do it and were, you know, incredibly talented, really. Yeah, very, absolutely. Very, very, you know, very short, you know, a short film that didn't have any budget. Mm-hmm. And yeah. That in the end, you know, I had to raise like 15, 
fifteen hundred pounds, or I guess like approaching uh, two thousand mm-hmm. um, dollars on. Um, it wasn't Kickstarter. It was um, GoFundMe. GoFundMe. Mm. Okay, got it. I prefer the other um, one. Come find me. Come find me. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, that was to finish the special effects and the um, and the sound mix. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, being broke motherfuckers like we are over here, we're super, we're super we, broke. We, we had to. We had to learn to do everything okay or pretty good. You know, we may have little things that we're great at, but they're few and far between. But we have our hands in all of it. So just in case we can't afford to do something and hire somebody who's better at it or great at it, we we know how to do just enough to sell things, whether it's sound mixing now or design or editing or, you know, cinematography, lighting, all, all of it. We, we know how to do just enough to go, okay, we can sell this, you know. And visual effects is one thing that I've been trying to get better at over the years. But it's a tricky thing, um, getting in there and knowing it all and, and making it look as well as those guys did for you. I can tell you that right now. The the shots of the armband in your film are brilliant. They're brilliant. He's saying thank yes, you. and it enhances the, the idea of the production value you had. You know what I mean? It is so good. Like, I watched that, and I'm like, holy shit, how did he fucking do that? That was good. Yeah, what did you guys use as the slide arm? Um, so my my brother, um, who I can actually hear now cleaning the plates from our meal. <laughs> dude, that's, that's right. I want this guy. Yeah. That's right, bitch. Can we, is, <clears throat> can we have him? Can he come over to our house? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, my, my brother, um, we're, we're very close, and... Um, you know, I, I, like he, um, he's always supported me in everything, really. Um, That's so nice. I, That's I awesome. didn't always work in film or media. I used to work for the NHS in in the UK, so you know the National Health Service. Okay, oh, okay. got it. Um, as, a, as a project manager, and at twenty seven, I was like, our mother became very ill, and it made me reevaluate my life. So I went back to university and did another degree. And uh, but he was always the the person, even though he was my younger brother, he was always the person that supported me. It's like, yeah, you should do it. You can do it. Oh man, that's cool. Um, I'll wash your dishes. Go do it. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, he um, he uh, he was the prop master, I guess you would oh, say. Okay. He he uh, like for our uh, our previous film, uh, Unite Us, which was a. Uh, like we filmed in 48 hours for the the London Sci-Fi uh, 48 Hour Film Challenge. You know, he created like the weapons and mm-hmm. the, oh, wow. the the alien tentacle that came out, and so him and his wife had like sourced the uh, the coat or the jacket that um, the Elliot ne- wears yes. in, at the beginning of the film, which it's uh, Soviet. Um, era you know military jacket Mm -hmm. it has a very distinctive look which i liked and it makes the poster (laughs) pop too by the way yeah Yeah, the poster pops because of that look yeah 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 Yeah, i I felt i kind of felt with this um you know in my i guess in my uh in my head for the the story of the, the the greater story of the film you know the uk came up with this time travel technology and had become semi like a you know a, a soviet kind of mm-hmm. era thing and she was part of this and then she'd seen you know people um i guess much like the conservative government in the uk at the moment <laughs> people see them go well they can get away with anything that they like <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna go back in time and you know, change my past. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and yeah, so so Alex, my brother, he like um, he sourced the coat with his wife and um, uh, created the gun, which is essentially a Nerf gun, okay. which you cut the back off and then spray painted black. Okay. And you guys did great. We, we yeah. all know about yeah. some good spray paint. We, we do, we do. <laughs> yeah, and we, it actually pulled off a Blade Runner kind of look. 
for that gun. It's yeah, really well, cool. I mean, Blade Runner was, you know, absolutely. I, I guess it might, in my head, it was kind of a, a combination of Blade Runner and Quantum Leap. Sure, I got gotcha. you. You know, it's kind of the, the good and the bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I mean, not that in Blade Runner he was bad. You know, Harrison Ford, but he he had an edge to him. Yeah, yeah exactly. I wanted a Quantum Leap vibe with a Harrison Ford Blade Runner edge. Gotcha. Yeah, and, makes... and a, a strong female protagonist. Yep, I know? love it. You got it. Yeah, you did you know, it. I, 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 Elliot is a no nonsense ass kicker, in, you know, in my head. And um, where in Quantum Leap, Sam Beckett got everything right, mm-hmm. Elliot wouldn't necessarily get everything right. right. You know, she would do her best. Yes. And also, she's a badass. She doesn't give a it, shit. She's doing yeah, what she's got to yeah. do. And yeah. I, I, would, I would argue that's more real life, isn't it? Right. No one gets everything. Even no. if you're the best person in the world, you're never going to get everything. No. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Alex, I'm still Alex working on it, though. I think I can get there, but we'll see. <laughs> and shut it's up. I keep telling myself that all the time. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Alex, Alex created Gun, and he, 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 you know, he kind of scrubbed it down so there was some gray underneath, so it looked like it, it was a, a used. Um, a, a used, you know, a, a used gun, and um, yeah, he created the the gauntlet, as we called it, which is where the you know Alex, ironically, mm-hmm. the artificial logic intelligence, Ted. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, clever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> I mean, a, a presenter from the BBC did the voice for that. Go. So, you know, he's on air talent, and he said, a guy called Lewis Vaughn Jones, um, very talented um, youth presenter, okay. said, Yeah, you know, I- I- I'll-, I'll do it for you. And, you know, he did it in the right, like, tone and intonation. And, um, but yeah, Alex created basically this gauntlet from a bit of police armor and a Samsung Blackberry type phone okay and he just kind of slammed it in we put some green on it wow Bob, he... Bob's, Bob's your uncle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude it's it's a, yeah <laughs> well the visual effects for it and everything you guys did is creative as hell so congratulations I think that is the beauty of indie filmmaking right there you figured it the fuck out and you reached out to the right people who saw your vision and they they helped you get it done it's beautiful yeah it's fucking nice. cool, man. So good, good job. I, uh, I want, I want to see more of that story. Don't, don't quit on that one. I don't care if it takes you another five years or no, so. Just don't get uh, sick yeah, anymore. Keep just up, keep fucking keep, doing it. Keep that up. Uh, ben, Ben was trying to tr- twist my arm last night, and um, to be fair, he came with some very good ideas. Hey, ben um, don't fuck around. Yeah, no, he doesn't. No, Ben don't fuck around. <laughs> ben, Ben's he's trying so, to stay I mean, busy. I, I, I'd really like to work with Ben again. I, I said, I think he's, you know, great, great talent. And, Absolutely. Um, and you know, I, I, I guess, I guess, with any you know, creative or filmmaker, you've always got other ideas. And I really want to make a horror film. <laughs> there you go. Well, you see what Ben's making right now? That sound thing he's too. he's working on. I did. Yes, that's the, fucking cool, the, right? Yeah, the, the desk. Yes. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is that thing? Jesus, Ben. <laughs> I know yeah. he hit us up today and he was saying the same thing. He's like, dude, if you guys want to make a horror movie, check this shit out. We do want to make a horror movie. I know. I just want to build one of those and play with it. No shit, <laughs> right? It's come fucking on, Come cool. on over well, to my house. But, funny enough, the, the horror movie I have in mind is, a, is feature feature length and would be based in uh, the U.S. Come, no on, sure. come on over. We'll come help over. You, we'll help you make Let's it. Let's do it. Come on. In America. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure I work, work in the U.K., but definitely America. It's got a, a bit of vibe of... Um, What's that Mark Wal- Wahlberg film? Oh, about the like bombing. Fear? The Happening? Or, or... The, about the Boston bombings. The, oh, oh, oh. Like, um, what is that called? The Marathon know. one. Oh, oh yeah, the I, I can't remember, remember Yeah, the Marathon one. I, I, it's I a great movie. Like Patriot the, Day. The, um, Patriot Day, thank you. Yep. When, Patriot Day, yeah. So when, like, the searching around uh-huh. the, for, for the bomber, like, mm-hmm. the, the I feel like the tension and, like, the lighting is just... It feels like a horror film. I mean, gotcha. it really is in, in real life, isn't it? It is. Um, so you need so, to come somewhere grimy like America. It's too pretty over in the UK. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and we're all fucked up over it's here. Grimy so it'll as sell hell perfect. over here. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> you want grime? We got grime. C- yeah. Come on over, brother. We'll help you make it. Yeah. yeah. You come I, over I, here. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a big it. fan of America. I've got many American friends. Spend a lot of time in New York when I can. So oh, that's awesome. I'm Vegas. We're on the <laughs> other end or the other side of the. 
Yes. Yeah. Where, where are you guys? We're in Washington. We're on the West Coast. Oh, yeah, <laughs> West Coast. Yeah, yeah, the other corner. Not, not DC. No, 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 not Washington like, DC. Tacoma, Seattle. Oh, I, I love uh, Washington. So, uh, Seattle, great night. There. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah. over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gorgeous. It's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's like gorgeous. It. You'd like it. There's not. I can it's keep. Gritty, I can though. keep you away from all the crazy gritty. people. Gritty. It's gritty. Don't There's half of them live in your house. Crazy, crazy no, half people. of them live over here in Gig Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, over this fucking hard. bridge. That's why they, they don't even hey, make which, it over which, half hey, the time. Wait, which way was that car facing when it came, for the jumper? He was heading towards Gig Harbor. Right. Before getting there, he, he was, was like, probably going home gonna... and didn't want to come back home. <laughs> he <That's>... was, yeah. <laughs> you know what, though? Half the time I'm driving to Gig Harbor, yeah. I want to jump off the bridge, too. <laughs> Before I get there, like, Gig Harbor, oh, hell no. And it's weird. <laughs> Tony, it's weird. Every time we drive to Gig Harbor, where Chuck lives or our studio's at, when we're driving over this bridge, it'll be sunny on our side, and then there's this fucking cloud. cloud. And halfway through the fucking bridge, it starts raining, raining. and hailing and shit. And you're like, where are we going? <laughs> it's like Land of the Fucking Lost, man. I mean, you will end up a Marshall Wind. Right? Yeah. It's, it's bad. It's it happens hell. a lot. It's nice It's and something cool. like hell. It's a membrane you have to go through. It's weird. It's like Quantum Fucking Leap. We're like, boom, going through this <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucking weird. It's weird. Anyway. It's the mountain range, actually. It's just, it's just oh, nature. It's just, mount- yeah, it's it's just, just nature. It's just nature. It's nature. Yeah. I noticed that you used the term "Bob's your uncle." That was an urban dictionary. Yeah. Word. Uh, uh, well, a, a common expression here, but yeah, uh, is it your- really? Oh, okay. Yeah. That was Bob, that was Bob, one Bob of our. Your uncle fannies your aunt. Oh, okay. What does fannies your aunt mean? <laughs> That's just the same <laughs> thing. That's the same it's thing for a female. Continuation. Well, I'm sure you're aware. Fanny is very different in the UK. Than it is in America. Right? It's an ass here. Ass. It, yeah, it's butt. Yeah. <laughs> What's it over there? It's, in in the UK, it's the other way. Oh, it's a it's like a, a vagina like, or a dick. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> All, okay. Right. All right. All right. But it's also a very old fashioned name. So if I was yeah. to say, "Hey Sam, would you come play with my fanny?" She would know what I meant. If I knew. No, well, she in wouldn't. The UK, we burst out laughing because <laughs> uh, nobody plays with fannies. They just. <laughs> Well, they do, but <laughs> <laughs> they don't announce it first. We are British, after all. Can you touch, just touch it a little bit. Oh touch the fanny a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't what? Know. It, so I what is it? I want to be very reserved <laughs> and English about it. Okay, fair so, enough. So, I'll, I'll take your word for it. So yes, yeah, so they have it. Like, they have the fanny as being something nice. And what do we do? Comment about it. <laughs> What do we do? We make a fanny pack for something to put over our dick. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, really? That, that, that just makes us laugh anyway. You know. fanny. That should make you laugh because that's really laughable. Wow. I didn't think of that. That's funny. The idea but, was probably sold to us by some guy, some Brit. Right, exactly. Here you go. <laughs> Here, why don't you use this? Up? Rated by a common fanny. language. <laughs> <laughs> um, want to play a game? I do want to play a game. Since we're talking we about Urban Dictionary game, let's do it. That's fine. Oh, yeah, go for it. Since let's we're talking about it, we might as well play the Urban Dictionary game. Only this time, I'm going to do it different. Uh oh. What's going on? I'm gonna do it backwards. What's happening? So I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give the you know the, the def- other part the and definition. you're gonna try to guess the word. Oh or shit. Or I'm phrase. gonna give the definition or phrase or whatever. Okay. You're gonna try to guess what word. Okay. What the urban dictionary word is. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay. Gotcha. So reverse urban dictionary game. Reverse urban dictionary game. You're going you're going. Are we reverse is it reverse? This is like inver- a time travel is it inverted. Yeah, this is a time Whatever travel. Whatever you want to call it. This is cool. Okay. Yeah, you know, I figured it went. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yep. Go right. with the sci fi thing. Let's do it. We'll just flip it. Flipping the script. Let's All right. Do it. All right. Yo, Are mama, you want to hear the game? No, what the shit. All right. Tony goes first, oh. though, right? <laughs> Tony looks Hold like it. an ass first. He gets to go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tony, you always go first. Yeah, you're yeah. Yeah. first. Guest uh, is uh, always first. Uh, yeah, All right. So go ahead, Sam. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Tony? Born ready. All right. Good. I love it. So, what would it be a disease men get when they get married? What would you call that? Disease commitment. and get when they get married. What kind of disease? When they get married. Commit- yeah. Commitment. Right? <laughs> commitment to That's, disease. Hey, you never know. A it's disease a men get uh, when they get married. Uh, a disease when they get married. Um, yeah, I can only say commitment. <laughs> okay. That's, you know what? That's... Urban Dictionary right there. <laughs> that's just, that's actually, that makes so much sense. I'm okay. not married, so. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. <laughs> All right. What, Aaron, you're up. What, what's the term? Give me the, give me the answer. A disease men get when they get married. Uh, I'm going to say that's M uh, NMFS. 
No more fanny syndrome. <laughs> oh my god, you're stupid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're so you dumb. You lose your balls. So dumb. <laughs> you lose your balls. They fall the fuck off. Isn't that's what okay. happens. That's the disease. You Check. lose it. It's, you are right on the aspect of a syndrome. However, it is not whatever you just said. It's actually <laughs> simply just lock cock syndrome. You just, you're done. Oh, lock cock? <laughs> that's does the that term? Mean, yeah. Does that mean like you don't get any? I, I don't know. That's just something that just, you know, came to mind. I don't like lock cock. <laughs> <laughs> don't lock your cock. Lock cock. That's just awful. Lock cock syndrome. So no more fanny? No. That's mine. Okay, so you want to know the answer? What is it? One gina. <laughs> One giant. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. I like that one. Guys, that's, that's, guys, yeah, you get married, you get one gina. That's pretty that's, good. That's all that's you pretty get. Good I wanted this mad, is it right? <laughs> <laughs> get the right one. It's a disease, you know. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> All right, you got another one? Of course I got another <laughs> oh, one. Oh, fucking I, great. I got two more. All right, cool. What Are you got? ready for this one? Yes. All right. A gateway drug to being awake. A gateway drug to, to being, being awake. awake. Life. <laughs> 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 I love it. Okay, Aaron. A gateway drug to being awake. Um, that's weird. It's a little different, but... A gateway drug. Don't think so hard about it. How about that? But I want to come up with the Urban Dictionary term. Then do it. That's what I'm trying to do by thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I have I'm to just, think a second. You know what? That was a huge hint to tell you you don't have to think. But okay. anyway. Um, a drug that keeps you awake would be, uh, I don't know, caffeinated... No, it's not a drug that keeps <laughs> no. you awake, what? Aaron. What is it? Give a it to me. Gateway drug to being awake. Oh, a gateway drug. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, blowjobs. <laughs> That'll keep you awake. That, that, makes you feel that, that um, keeps me awake. That's a gateway to me being awake. But it's a drug. Sure, it can be. I can get addicted to it. I still feel life. Life is the best. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> I think life is better. Too. Fair enough. Fair enough. Chuck, what's yours? What do you think? Drug. He ain't got shit either. To being, being away. He ain't got shit. He ain't got shit. Um, he ain't got shit. Come on, Chuck. He ain't got shit. You got shit. It's not that easy. <laughs> Told you. Gateway Fucking reverse prediction. Uh, yeah, I don't like this version. <laughs> no, um, you guys are thinking way too hard. I know, but a gateway drug to being awake would, would be, be like um, fuckacillin. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the fuck is fuckacillin? Fuckacillin. It's a drug you take to make sure you stay awake. Yeah. So the answer, no? you guys... If you say Ritalin, I'm going to come here over here and slap you. The answer is sleeping. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did I or did I not try to hint you guys that no, you were thinking too isn't hard? Isn't the Urban Dictionary so fucking clever? Isn't that <laughs> great? Yeah. God damn it. Okay, go ahead. What's the last one? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, you I want like a really good better. one this time? What's that? On a really good one this time? No, give us a shitty one. No, um, since you were talking about blowjobs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. That's another one. Um, in the Urban Dictionary, what would be the word that would mean to get a blowjob? Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, a squirt from the one eye? <laughs> 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 don't even what if you even come at me with no, that I'm, later I'm, i am I'm, not i won't do it i, I swear to god if i do it because <laughs> okay, i might i might do it i might do it, it <laughs> i probably will do it thanks yeah, I'm a gonna lot do it. tony I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's gonna happen you just gave him, me you gave him material <laughs> You just gave him material. That's good, too. He's going to think it's so funny. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna and he'll like, actually use it. Then it's going to work. I'll steal it. Yeah. It will work. It won't work. <laughs> it has to work. I'm just going to tell you right now. Dude, I'll keep trying it. There's different versions of it. I'll make oh it my, my own. God. It'll work. Okay. Um, Tony, What's it was your good. Guess? Um, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to get this one. I'm going to be very look PC with this one, and it's going to work. Oh, you PC. Let's see you do it. Appetizer. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. That's okay. good. That's, not, mine's bad, that's but. good. That's good. <laughs> but you have to remember, it's, it's the Urban Dictionary. I know, but appetizer would be funny if someone said, what's well, appetizer in Urban Dictionary? It's a blowjob. Oh, get it. See? Smart. 
No, oh, see, so it makes oh, more. It makes more sense. Then on someone, couldn't you? Would be appetizer like. A bad blowjob would be an appetizer because you still got a. Well, the main course is know, fucking. <laughs> the main course is fucking. You know, that's the appetizer. You're just taking a little nibble. All right. I'm not talking about the penis size. <laughs> <laughs> or the fanny size. Well, if you were, that would fit. <laughs> Speaking of fitting. Okay, what are your answer, Chuck? What do you got? What do you got? Chuck. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. That's a brilliant answer. Oh. We can give him that one. That's good. That's good, right? That's okay, good. Okay, that's not bad. Mm-hmm. Because they suck. Get it? It, it, okay, sorry. <laughs> that was off. But anyway. Anyway. Um, it's Gobby. Gobby. I just, I'm done, gobby. I'm done, I'm done with gobby. this game. Gobby? I don't get, get Gobby. He gets it. What's wrong with because you? Because they're cool in the UK. We're fucking stupid over here. <laughs> yeah, we are. What is uh, Gobby? Yeah, go, Gobby in the UK means you give it a lot of this. Ah, uh, okay. That gobby. Part. There's, there's, there's gobby. nothing like some vibrating tongue it action now. on a good... Sorry. Got it. <laughs> gobby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, funny. but I was actually hoping that you would get it right, that one. Because I thought you would. His answers were better than ours, I'll tell you that right now. Every single one of his answers were better than yours. Way he, better. Yeah. So he, he wins that round. Good for you, Tony, for winning. <laughs> I hope yeah. you feel good about yourself. Congratulations, Tony. Jesus. <laughs> Forget all the accolades you're getting for your short film. Yeah. You, you won the Urban Dictionary. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. We'll, we'll throw a couple laurels on this show for you. <laughs> you get around the real athlete. Yeah, we'll throw you a laurel on the on the program. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you one. That'd just be I a big giant that. penis squirting. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure more than anything. Wait a minute here. Uh, Let me actually see if I can find it since we got tagged on one of our job sites. I should have a picture of a big giant giant penis we well, can share. Well, we can with work you. on that after the show. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, I'll we'll, just go we'll show we'll work on that one. <laughs> Oh man, Tony, it's a pleasure talking to you, buddy. So, what are your what are your future plans? What are you going to do? I know you're working a lot at the at the channel and stuff, but you going to make more movies, man? What are you going to do? Um, yeah, well, I mean, bar, bar, bar my health auditions, which uh, have, um, um, in the last two years have certainly certainly take a, a side swipe at my life. Um, um, I guess I'm fortunate yes you are <laughs> more yes. than uh, a lot of people that have um like recovered from them or i can um, i'll be able to cope with them um and you know i work for what i believe is a great organization um in the bbc i definitely would um i've definitely got a desire to make more films um yeah. and a particularly feature um so I'm so always, you're coming uh, over here to make a horror movie with us is that what you're saying <laughs> well i mean my um so when i went back to you i went back to university at 27 and did a film media degree i'd d- d- done a computer studies degree before that and oh. bored to death <laughs> it was like i always thought i'd be a scientist and i was like actually no that's going to be really dull uh <laughs> love scientists though love scientists astronomy and yeah. science but cool um, I did not have the aptitude for it. Um, so, yeah, I I would love to make a feature film of some kind. And um, I, I've always been what I would class as a, a student of American um, film and cinema, you know. It, growing up in the 80s, that's what I love, like, I hear you. you know, Star Wars, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones kind of thing, and, you know, horror films such as, like, Halloween and, um, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and things like that. Sure, yeah. sure. So, I, um, <laughs> yeah, I've, my, one, one of my, uh, one of my uh, moving image teachers always said, oh, he says, she said, you're on to a winner. You're never short of ideas. I think that's all you can say to anyone. As long as you've got ideas, it's how you, um, you know, articulate them and get them made. Yeah. So, a creative mind awesome. needs to be expressed. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, like, um, you know, uh, pigeons learn faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're creative. You're creative. So you have a gift. Well, that... I try to be. I, I mean, I've met some pigeons, pigeons that are pretty creative. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you live longer, so fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck those guys. Um, <laughs> He's going to kick know, a bird always, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm always willing to give it a go. Yeah. And I think in whether it's uh, you know filmmaking in life or or anything, it's have an idea and willing to see it through. Doesn't matter if you fail or not. Yeah. Exactly. You're right. Do it. Yeah. And do it for yourself. Exactly. Yeah. You know, people don't appreciate it as long as you're happy with it. That's okay. Yeah. And you know, if it wasn't a success, learn from it. Mm-hmm. Everything you're saying is absolutely right. But seeing it through, that's that's the Just important do, part. Think, yeah. I, Fucking do I, it. I think I think two 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 of the things I've learned in life uh well three things I've learned in life is hard work, determination, never give up. Because it's if you give up, you may as well be dead. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Don't quit. You know? Yeah. yeah. Don't be a you, pussy. You, I mean, you, you, you can be tired or mm-hmm. at the end of your tether when you're dead. <laughs> That's right. Because it doesn't matter then. No, it doesn't. Got to be a badass. You got to just keep pushing forward. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll even bring back uh, something that Coach Rick said last week when we were talking to him that actually made Sam freak out. It's like, we're not freak out. I'm sorry. Got you emotional. Made you leave the room. Mm-hmm. I, I got tissues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and that I'm was ready. like, you know, you like you just it's said, you're sorry. making what you're making. Give it your best shot. Do what you can. Tell your story. And if people don't understand it or don't like it, fuck them. Fuck them. You're telling your story. You're getting something out. You're being creative. They're not. Yep. The most creative thing they can come up with is a critique that sounds like everybody else's. You actually created something. So if they don't like it, Welcome. Yeah. Well, and if you're, if you read, um, like, uh, reviews of movies, if you read them anything like me, I usually read them and I'm like, what, what? are you talking about? Like, you could do anything even close to that. So, right. you know, people that say things about, oh, that movie sucked or whatever, it's like, what are you doing? You're 30 exactly. something yeah. years old in the basement of your parents' house yeah. and you're. With your name on the fucking orange juice. Like, <laughs> yeah. Mom, don't touch my shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you know, it's like that's pathetic. how you feel though it's like really could you do it so yeah it is what it is but yeah. he's absolutely right you're about right. That. absolutely right yeah you you make your stuff and i think that's where the luck comes in i don't think it's lucky people being creative i think that takes creative skill you know it does. the luck comes in when you happen to create something that everybody wants to see that's the luck because mm-hmm. you have no idea and you know the studios think they got it figured out and they kind of do they've they've been doing it forever and they've narrowed down how and what people look at and see and what what resonates with them you know but when you're an indie filmmaker man you can make shit that they can never do because they will not go outside that box because their money <laughs> is important to them where us we're like well if we make money that'd be fucking cool but <laughs> i want to know this i got to tell this story this way you know and that's what we're doing and that's beautiful. You get a win from me because Absolutely. I I don't like sci-fi, and I enjoyed I enjoyed what you yeah made, she liked so. your fucking sci-fi movie. I wrote a script for a new sci-fi movie that I'm gonna make, and she, and she probably <laughs> fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever, it's fine. Whatever. Well, I I mean it was very, very conscious. Uh, I, like I mean I do love sci-fi. I'm a big sci-fi fan. It's fun, uh, but I wanted it to be accessible, mm-hmm. I guess, mm-hmm. and. I said, maybe maybe address a, a topic that's not often addressed. Exactly. And you didn't overdo the sci-fi part of it. No, like it wasn't overdone. It was very you. You did well balancing everything. Yeah, it did really well. It, it, there's one element in the story that you can't pull out because that's the like the whole catch in it. But literally, that could be a drama. What you just wrote. Yeah, and you that's could the definitely do a series. I could see it being a TV series. Absolutely. And I think that's where I started from. It, mm-hmm. Like it was a, a drama that could be a TV series. No, I, I guess I, I feel that was one of the strengths of Quantum Leap. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> uh, I was going to say bless um, you, but I couldn't that, tell if you, you really know, sneezed. It was essentially sneeze. about human stories. Yeah. You know, you looked at um, Sam Beckett in Quantum Leap. He was always going to, um, you know, leaping into any anybody's body, men, women, you know, sure. gay people, yeah. transgender. Yep. But it was always a human story. Always yeah. as a human story. And that's yeah. that's what people related to. And, yeah. that's, like, and that's what you pulled off. No that's matter where it. you come from, you know, everyone's had a hard time. Everyone's been bullied in some form. Or mm-hmm. Everyone's, you know, had something against them. Yeah. yeah. And everyone can relate to that. Yeah, and I just, I that. guess in, in many ways, I wish more people would relate to that and maybe we'd live in a happier world. But. <laughs> Right. Right. I agree with that. Absolutely. I really agree with that. But yeah. if we lived in a happier world. 
it would, would be people watch all of our shit? Yeah. Yeah. Because they still don't. need that balance. They need yeah, to still because see people, it. people love drama, don't they? They, do. they oh, fucking love it. Oh, God, them. they yeah. do, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, it would. Hey, buddy. It's... Essentially, essentially, people want to see, you know, drama, don't they? They but do. They love it. People miserable, shooting shit. and <laughs> it's, I, They love it. It's fun shit. Um, you're, you're a hell of a filmmaker. Okay, don't don't stop doing this. Yeah, stuff. No, I, no, yeah, I, we're I, looking I, forward to. Absolutely, I'm I'm very proud of. Uh, well, I, I I kind of feel we've agreed to like make a horror film together. Yeah, <laughs> we did agree to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yes. I'm down. I'm, I'm down. down. I, we you need gotta, to do horror. You got to take a break from your day job, but yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we're we, down. Can, we can do well, it. I mean, I mean, to be honest, what, one of my dreams would be to, sh- to to shoot something in America. So. Well, make your dream come true and come see us. Yeah, we, we have the locations. We have a huge crew. Yeah, everything we need except you. So come here. Yeah, we can do that. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start writing uh, writing something in anger then. So. Beautiful. <laughs> That's, you're gonna, you're gonna write something good. in anger. In anger. Yeah. Well, don't be. In anger, yeah, make, mean, like in, uh, in fury. In like I'm gonna get it done. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Yes. Like so yeah. push it. Go, get angry. Like like get extra keyboards uh, and shit because you're gonna like, be like. <laughs> I sound like I'm, you know, from uh, the 16th century, but you're really not because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I said P- pigeons learn faster than me, so. <laughs> hey, but quick question: Is there a way for us to be able to watch that unite us that you made for your 48 hour? Um, I tell you what. How about I send you a link? I, I like links. Is it. is it like hot and spicy links, or is it like stop oh, it? Well, shut your mouth. you know what? I, I think I think you can actually uh, watch my last two my. Last two shorts on um, the Vimeo link. The Ben, okay. ben oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll check yeah. it out. Um, Do we need a password? I already have it. Oh, you don't yeah. need a password the, for the that one. So the only, the only one is for, for Can't Go Home Again because it's still going in film festivals. But sure. Unitas, you can watch without a link. Okay. Okay. And, um, unseen. So that okay. was uh, a film I did for my... Uh, my film media degree, and it came top of my class. Beautiful. Never came top of anything before in my life. Not even but women? W- worked hard. <laughs> no, literally nothing. <laughs> well, I don't believe that. And, um, and uh, that, was, that wasn't science fiction. It was, a, 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 I, I guess, maybe perhaps like Steven Spielberg. I have a, you know, Steven Spielberg has a theme of um, broken families yes. and you know, separated um, parents in his film. I have a theme of domestic violence. So it's a, a, a short film about domestic violence uh, seen through the eyes of um, a, a little girl who witnessed it. So, oh, gotcha. Um, but, um, yeah, I was lucky enough to um, come top of my class uh, back in university for it. So um, that's all on Vimeo. There's some BBC stuff that I filmed with Taylor Swift and stuff and Britney Spears. Watch it's fun. <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> Well, I mean, she wasn't singing. Um, oh, God, you just had to listen to her talk? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah. That Who might... might find it amusing, is all I'll say. I mean, you know. Probably. I'm watching. I mean, Taylor was singing, but. When is she not? <laughs> you think well, she sings, she sings while she talks. Oh, Jesus. But I, as, uh, I'm ha- happy to send it to you, but uh, if you've got the, the link for the film, then you, you, you should be able to easily find the, uh, the other things. Sounds good. Awesome. Well, buddy, um, it's a pleasure meeting yeah. you and getting to yeah, talk with much. you. And it was an absolute joy watching your film. And you're a talented filmmaker. Um, That's very kind. Thank you've, you. You've got a good vision. And um, if, yeah, keep doing it, man. Yeah. And Please. we're excited and looking forward to Absolutely. working well, with you in the future. Absolutely. Well, I, said, I, feel, I feel like we need to now. No, I, I know. We, do we have to. Yeah. Well, we probably will. We already but, said it. We already. Yeah. Yeah. We like to work with everybody. Somehow, some way. So whether it's <laughs> now or in the future, we'll we'll figure something. Well, out. we like to work with people if they're nice and good. Yeah. Well, we're working with BC people. They're cool. But you <laughs> they can't. Are cool. You know, they're, they're cool. I'm nice and I, you know, yeah. I drink. Yeah, exactly. Right. And he drinks. <laughs> sold. See, yeah, I'm sold. I trust you. <laughs> yeah, and he yeah. likes to say fuck. So the, it's invita- cool. the invitation's there. The door's unlocked. Yeah. Just come on over. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. yeah, no problem. <laughs> Open door policy for you. Oh, man. Yeah, it was a pleasure, buddy. Thank you for being on our show. Thank you for being on our show. Thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it. We had a blast with you. I got to ask, though. I mean, I realize that there's the the, the, you know batteries back up and everything else. Did you just lose power where you're at? I mean, your whole room just got dark. Oh, no. 
basically the, the, the sun's going down. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, yeah, okay. I understand the concept Isn't of how the late? Earth moves. Oh, there you go. I see, yeah. Now, this okay, is, we can this, see that. This is like most of Aaron's home videos. Well, just well, all well, silhouette. I'll tell you what. Tell you what. So just before you go. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's Uh-oh. do this. Let's Uh-oh. do this. Uh-oh. What are we doing? Alex, where's Alex? Where we Alex, we need a drink. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna show you Alex. Yeah, yeah let's see yeah, Alex. Alex. What's Alex doing? We, go. we have to no. say goodbye. He's, he's hiding. In he's here. probably on his hands and knees, so, uh, mopping get, the floor. No, he's get, not. Get him a steady there cam. He <laughs> there he is. What's up, bro? There he is. And this, Hi, this Alex. Is really this, this is his whiskey wall. Holy shit! Yeah, oh, he's a fuck that's around. That's badass. I I'll like see, the whiskey I love wall. You guys. You I see, need a whiskey wall. We need a fucking whiskey That's wall. That's badass. Wait a second, Alex. How many kids do you have? <laughs> uh, yeah, he has one. How, one. how small? Uh, eight months old. That's oh why. My God. Once they get to be teenagers, he won't have a whiskey wall because he'd be like, "Where the fuck's all my shit?" <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, they, they, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, kick yeah, the yeah. shit out. You could kick their ass if they're fucking teenagers for taking yeah, your shit. Chuck. Hey man, it took me a month to realize that my kid poured apple juice into my freaking crown. Oh, that was smart. <laughs> It took you that long to realize that? I, I would have realized it in one, like, day. I didn't. Op- it took <laughs> me a month like, to open this, this isn't right. This isn't well, right. it didn't take them that long, did it? Oh, actually, while, while you're here, I'll <laughs> yes, just, sir. Uh, I, I, did, I did buy my brother a poster for the film. Oh, dope. Awesome. I want one. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's so cool. No. Very cool, man. It's a birthday present. You know, I'm a very generous brother. Yeah. You yeah. are. And you He's know like, what? Very you guys, you guys are beer. very nice brothers <laughs> to each other. You're very wait, nice. Wait, wait. Yeah, I just love how he said how he's very generous to his brother while he's in his brother's house. <laughs> Who's bringing yeah, him stuff? Yeah, bringing yeah. him whiskey. Like, we can buy whiskey, my man. <laughs> yeah, and, you're washing, and you're washing his dishes from dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's washing the dishes. Wow. And and, and, and wait a second. Great brother. But at least you're chipping in for the internet, right? That you're using to do this show today? Uh, right? No, no. Seasons. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Alex, you're a good man. Alex, you're a damn good brother. Look at him. Like, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> oh, man. Great talking with you guys. Yes, Thank you for your awesome. time today. Nice yeah, meeting you both. Nice guys. I really appreciate it. All right. When, when, is, when is the audience going to be able to uh, actually see your film? When you're going to be releasing um, it again? So I'm, I'm, I'm planning for a um, a cinema showing in uh, September, uh, like in central London. Okay. So um, I'd be more than happy to invite you guys. I know that may be difficult during the current pandemic. Understandable. But. Might be a little tricky. It's, um, it's in London. I got a place to stay. Should be fun. I know. It'd be fun. Thank you. I mean, um, yeah. I, I want to kind of show it in a cinema setting. Sure. Yeah. Uh, that's a crew because they haven't seen it in, you know, apart from on, you know, tiny screens. So, sure. um, yeah, September cinema showing, and then um, it's going to be in film festivals until next March. Okay. Um, and after that time, well, I mean, I'd, I'd love it to be shown in, you know, like you. I mean, we've got friends who are, are New Yorkers and, um, like Emily and Aaron and stuff, haven't we? But we might be able to kind of get a New York showing. That'd be cool. That would Good be for you. cool. Good for you. Yeah. Well, you you let us know how things are going and where people may be able to see it if it comes around to the states, especially, and we will help you pitch it a little yeah. bit to get get Keep more people to Keep us up to, to date it. on anything you do. Anything and you we do. We will. Better. Yeah, let hey, well, know. don't send us all your newscasts, though. We don't care about your day job I'll stuff. We're talking the about news. the fun. Ex- no, I we'll watch it, me. but we're not going to sit here and promote his uh, today on the BBC network. I, I would do that. <laughs> I, I would do I, it. Too. I actually would. I think that's fucking cool. <laughs> we too. would do it. Anything for you. Well, yeah. I mean, if, if you ever want to look at my, any of my BBC work, that's very easy. Just go to YouTube, Anthony underscore J Cook. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, that's I use, awesome. I, right? I, I use my Sunday name that my mother used to call me. The Sunday Anthony. name. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's, that's, that's your name when you got in trouble. Yeah, you cook YouTube. Gotcha. Your your mom called you, you YouTube. You, you, you can see all the good oh. stuff. Well, the Vimeo stuff's probably more interesting. That's where Taylor and Brittany is. Uh, right. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Right I'd on, probably buddy. be more interested in the others. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> I don't really care about Taylor and Brittany that much. Right. <laughs> well, but my two my my two other films are on that. So yeah, yes, that yes, I do yes. care about a lot. That we'll check out for sure. No, I'm for gonna sure, check Tony. it all out. We're going to check you out. Tony, you're the man, brother. Thank you. That's very kind.
absolute pleasure to speak to you all. You Thank same. you. I really appreciate it. You Absolutely, too, buddy. It's been a pleasure. Chuck Alex, you're a great brother. Absolutely. Yes. Thank oh, you, buddy. I know. <laughs> he said, I know. Yeah, I know. This is, you know. <laughs> Chuck, you want to close us out, my man? Absolutely. Yeah. Alex, thank you for joining us today on Around... Oh, I'm sorry. Tony, thank you for <laughs> joining us today on Around the Real. Um, no, sitting down and talking with you has been great. Um, you're doing wonderful things, buddy. Keep doing what you're doing. D- stop. I'm going to tell you right now, Tony. Stop doubting yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. It's a waste stop of it. time. Stop it. Yeah. You're doing wonderful things. Keep doing what you're doing. Good Keep job. up the support around you that you have. Yes. Use up that internet. Get that free food. Drink all that whiskey. <laughs> um, but no, thank you, brother, for being for being on our show, for talking to us, being real like we like to do on the show, and uh, letting yourself get a little bit emotional for a minute as you were talking about some of the things you've had to deal with in your own past. So um, I'm glad to see that you can take what's happened to you and turn it into something creative, and that's beautiful. And thank you for sharing that with us today. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. Thank you. It's very good night. Thank you. You're all very right. welcome, buddy. Okay, everybody out there, remember, think hard because you're thinking anyway. Bye. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for tuning Wait. in. Remember, everybody, think hard because you're thinking anyway. Oh, for the love of Christ, both of you guys. He just cut me off, though. Just cut me off. Yeah, nobody, yeah, need, nobody needs to hear the old intro. Okay, well, outro. I'm going to cut you both off and say thank you for listening to our show. Thank you for tuning in to Around the Real. That's great stuff. Yeah. So why did they uh, even tune in in the first place? I don't know, but they're glad they did. Yeah. I think it's because we're trying to inspire people. We are. And have fun with people. People that are artists. Creators. Yeah. People that are out there trying to make a living with their art. That's a beautiful thing. That's what we're doing. They're yeah. crafty. Yeah. Yes. So have them tune in. And how do they get on our show, Chuck? You can get on our show by going to our website. Please visit us at cccentertainmentgroup.com. Click on the scheduling link. Link. And yeah. I'll send you to me. Yeah. Sassy Sam was going to get you all lined up on everything. I'll hook you up with a day and a time. Sometime in 2021 or 2022 because it's filling up fast. So if you want to get on this show... Get on I it. highly suggest get on it. You start clicking your brains out. Come be our guest on our show. We'd love to hear your story. We'd love to hear it. Make sure you come visit us on Amazon Prime and OP Prime. Oh come yeah, watch, watch the our Outrider. movie. Watch our movie, The, the Outrider. Outrider. Yeah, you can watch Marcus Ford kick some fucking ass. Oh, f- yeah, th- this was a perfectly good take until you said until that. Until you said that. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for <laughs> tuning in to the show. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, guys.